if you're looking to generate and create your own uh, website totally for free, I'm going to be showing you just a few tips of what you can actually do if you wanted to maybe spend like one or two uh, dollars totally uh, easily. So the first thing to do before we dive in, it's important to understand that free often comes with some limitations. So you might get a subdomain, right? For example, um, the very first platform that offers some websites, which are totally for free, and I think it's going to be really awesome is, for example, Google Sites. Now, when I tap free websites into Google, I'm going to be having a few sponsored elements. But down here from sponsor, for example, I have this free website come from Wix. I have a free website come from Wibbly and Google Sites, for example, even Canva. Now, what happens with these platforms? Well, several platforms offer free website creation with free uh, subdomain hosting. We have this Google Sites, there's Wix, there's Webly, there's so much more elements. So I'm going to be focusing into uh, Google Sites due to its simplicity and lack of prominent branding on the free plan. However, the general principles would apply to the other platforms as well. So choose your platform and sign up. Let's go and look out for Google Sites. I am already using a, a Google account, so it's going to be really easy to check out my elements here. Now here, we have an actual marketplace. The marketplace of Google Sites usually are some templates that you can use and you can download them for your website. I don't recommend you to use them, just use them as inspiration so you can start generating your own. But basically, you can just do this kind of websites totally for free using only by using, of course, uh, Google Sites. So now that you know how to create an actual, how it's going to be looking if you Google Site websites, then you can start your own. Let's go for Google Sites. I'm going to go for Google Sites Elements or just type sites.google.com. Inside here, you're going to be having this new element of the site. The first thing I want to do is to focus into the option that says blank site. If you don't know how to get started and you need a really fast website, then choose the option that says template gallery. The template gallery is going to be helping you, of course, uh, to have something like a type of website you wanted to create, or you can select a blank canvas for the full customization. I can suggest you to do it for, let's say, for example, like for blank. Uh, but in my case, I'm going to be trying out with an actual template so I can make this process a little bit much more faster. Now, this is what you bring your website to your life. When you click into a template, you choose blank elements. You're going to be having now the platform editor and you can add your own content. Now, here what you can do is to add headings, paragraphs and lists. Into the right corner, you have here insert where you can add text boxes, images and beams, drive content blogs and all of these fields. You can check out the pages. For example, here's my home dashboard. If I go for history, here's my new uh, sub page team. And lastly, my FIQ. So you can use them at your favor. And then lastly, you have the actual theme where you can customize the theme of your website. So I can create an actual of my own. For example, let's go for tech express. And I can add my own logo and I can add my own banner image. So the first thing I wanted to do, of course, is to focus it into my theme. The theme is going to be making things much more faster and it's going to be important on my colors, on my scheme, on my branding in just one side. Now that I have added all my elements, I can go and add an actual preset color. For example, this one and the title of heading should be something like this and create my theme. This theme should be applied now inside my new website. And all of the elements that I have just added should be imported right away. Now, the next thing to do, of course, to focus into an actual free domain. So here's my actual website, of course. Now, it's up to you that you, of course, can create and generate all your elements. For example, here's your logo, changing your product name, changing the banner change that's what i'm not really focusing a lot into getting creative and let's say adding elements you just, this is totally up to you and of course it's depending on what are what is the actual uh, application that you chose to create your actual website so first of all i'm going to choose a free domain before i can publish this in my case i'm going to choose into the upper right side that says published and you have an actual uh free element 
into this website. But this is the actual subdomain, which is sites.google.com view and your new website. So in my case, I'm going to type with tech. And if this one is available, I'm going to be choosing to publish. You can request the public search engines not to display your site if you want to. In my case, who can be my site it should be anyone and I can hit it to publish. Just like that, your website should be generated right away. And there you go. We have now an actual free website with an actual domain, subdomain. Now, I chose sites.google.com because creating an actual website is going to be really, really easy. But there's a lot of website generators that's going to be asking you to have an actual current plan so you can have access to tons of things. But if you have uh, access here, you're going to be using Google Sites and you want to have your own domain, you can try out, for example, with Namecheap. Now, Namecheap can be helping you to have your own domain and has a really, really lower prices. For example, here, this domain of Techpress, I have, for example, let's say uh, this one says techpress.online, which costs us only $1 per year. So I can invest $1 to purchasing here this domain and I can use this domain so I can import it and change it for sites like google.com techpress home, right? So for $1, I'm going to be having access to all of this in an actual domain so this can look a little bit more professional so if you are really interested in that you have an actual a specific tutorial about it so you can let us know in the comments below what you think about that process so with that being said guys we have not reached the very end of the video if you decided you need more control a custom domain you can let us know in the comments below so while there are limitations this platform provides powerful tools to showcase your ideas of your business don't forget to like this video and subscribe to techpress if you're looking for more website creation guides thank you for watching See you next time.